In 1954, at the age of 21, Frank Stronach arrived in Canada with one small suitcase and not much else. Today, he's changed the way cars are made and along the way, reinvented the sport of horse racing. I'm a great believer in luck. The harder I work, the more luck I have. Sure, he had no more than a few hundred dollars in his pocket, but he had skill, savvy, and a vision. In my early years, I had no great philosophies. My only drive was never to be hungry anymore. In 1957, Frank opened his first small factory in Toronto. Times were tough, and he didn't get his first car contract until 1960, an order for 300,000 sun visor brackets. He never looked back. Do I respect him as a businessman? Absolutely. I respect anybody that starts out sleeping on a bench in a garage. This is not an easy business, and to build upon success, this is not something you see every day. a good understanding of people and what motivates people. He, you know, says, look, using common sense, what would motivate me? You know the magna culture, right? Nobody works for me. You people work with me. I'm working for you. The roots of the magna culture began when Frank introduced a profit-sharing plan in his factories. He calls it fair enterprise. Wall Street calls it Frank Stronach's success formula. The history of mankind has always been dominated by the golden rule. Here's the gold makes the rule. But I don't want to be dominated by anyone. If I feel that strong, I should not be able to dominate somebody either. And that's why Frank created a corporate constitution and an employee's charter that are unique in the world of business. In 1960, Frank bought his first horse. And today, he's one of the world's leading thoroughbred owners. Frank, you and Magna have created so many jobs for people around the world and in the process have enriched so very many communities. I'm proud to know you. I'm proud of our friendship. I'm proud of the vision you've displayed throughout your business career. In 1995, Frank was inducted into the Canadian Business Hall of Fame. In 1998, his horse Austin again won the Super Bowl of horse racing, the Breeders' Cup. In 1999, he was awarded the Order of Canada. In 2004, he donated $8 million to the local hospital for Aurora and Newmarket, Ontario, and once again, won the Breeders' Cup with Ghost Zapper. Ghost Zapper. Today, that young tool and die maker who came to Canada 50 years ago, is a respected entrepreneur, a community leader, and the premier player in the sport of kings. And along the way, he's done it all his way. Over half a billion dollars has been raised to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Many Canadians have opened up their wallets, including Canadian auto giant mogul Frank Stronach, the founder of Magna. Yesterday, he headed down to Florida to meet with the hundreds of people he's helping by providing them with accommodations at his horse training facility, Palm Meadows. I can't think of a better guy or a bigger mensch than my friend Frank Stronach. You and Magna have done so much for communities and charities around the world. Congratulations once again. I sometimes say, and you know, I'm not quite sure yet when I grow up what I will do, you know. There's a lot of pride when you, when you start something from scratch, so you, you want to look down the road and say, I, I hope you've put the right foundations in that this company will carry on for the next few hundred years.